Let's sit together and share this J. What can I say about J? A lot. The tenth letter of the alphabet is a very amazing letter. We get into big things with numbers and shapes when we get to J, but now we are just doing the capital letters. But look at the J. I'll start with my three reference words, which in this case I use join or joint. And at the same time, junction is basically the place where you become joint with whatever you're joining on to. So those three words are sort of together. Then I also use just, and as time goes on through this video, I'll explain why I use just. And then jack, because there's so many meanings to the word jack, as in like the outlet, the jack. You know, you could say the jack stand, the car jack, he jacked me, a jack of all trades, you know, and there's a reason for those things. The letter J is the jack. And that'll make more sense. I'm not trying to talk too weird. So, let's get into it. Here I wanted to bring up and point back out the iota. How the I had the little other way facing J there. See? That is a specific point where the 9 goes into the 10. And our numbers are unseen but we see them as ways to explain things and figure things out. So that's why I was saying J is a big number letter because it's 10 and it's rarely used, but 10 is something that we use all the time. So in a lot of languages, JA and J words are spirit things or things that are unseen, things that are from what already was. With that being the case, I want you to notice the I being in the center of the letter. If you would pull a J out of it and set it next to the I, but still refer to the I, that's why it's shaped that way. So we move into some of the other things they say about it, and I'll put them here and you can read through them if you want to, but I'm telling you the deeper meaning of our alphabet. And this is some of the stuff that books have said about it. But I'm here to clarify that because there's so much more than what people have learned so far. And I'm not discrediting anybody. I'm just letting them know that it goes deeper. And as they will see if they pay attention, I'm not wrong. Since I'm tasked with this from the beyond, from what we truly are, not just our bodies, not just our souls and spirits, these words that we use. This is the power of the word. We have been so brought up believing one thing about the letters and words we speak that we haven't realized that it controls everything we've ever done. It's magic. It's definitely complete magic. And once you truly see it, everything will be better from the power of the letter.